in this universe of automobiles is a report called the Harbor Report. Okay. It is the only report that that puts all the factories are visited and they're appraised on productivity and quality okay. and pricing and uh, so that the industry inside knows about the industry. Okay. No, nobody outside knows, just the industry. It's a form it of auditing. The Bible, it's, huh? it's a form of auditing the, the plants and the company. It, they audit it by they sell your report for a million dollars oh. or something. Okay. I mean, oh, they make no, a lot good. of. Oh, it's good to know. They make a lot of money. And they're very, they're extremely well respected. Okay. Now, I mean, like Ron gets, a, used to get a thousand an hour. Oh, yeah. So when I fly him over someplace, I'm paying a lot of money for it. But there's nobody better in the world yeah. and his team. Yeah. And I can get me anything I want. So anytime okay, I was looking at a factory to get involved with, first thing is he had to come over and tell me uh -huh. what, what's going on here. Yeah. How much am I going to have to spend? What I have to buy, 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 buy. <laughs> so. I see he's appointed. I say, call him up, Ron, come to California. What? Come to California. I know how to save the automobile industry. Easy. Boom. Came on a plane. Put him in a truck. I said, now, this truck is running on hydrogen on demand. Here's the water car. Here's the stainless steel. Here's the wire that goes in here. Here's the miles gauge. Turn it off and drive down the street, and then turn it on and drive down the street and see what you get comes back and by the way you, get, if you have, feel like you get more power too on top of it okay comes back and says, wow I, I don't believe it I said that's what I said I it's am blown away I still don't it to me it's almost like a cell phone how do you know to go up there and right, get me right, here right, or in right, China right. I said I don't know there it is but killing me is why the hell isn't so many more people smarter than us not doing this I know this they teach this they teach this in high school this is chemistry <laughs> I said, I so missed like the program. The of your, of it's, right. It's so, so he says, oh, my God, Malcolm, what do you want to do? What do I want to do? I want to give it to the car industry. Period. Stop all this nonsense. Now right. you're bankrupt. It'll be easy as hell. Right. And I want something. Right, right. A dollar a thing, a hundred dollars. Sure. Whatever the hell I can finagle that right. makes any sense, I'm in. It scales I like want crazy. this done, period. Right. All right. Because that's the other reason people don't get a buck. You can't get a patent on it. It's been around. It's public domain forever. It's another reason nobody wants to spend money developing it. Right? I believe if I'm there and I know what I'm doing, you'll come to me because I know what I'm doing. Until somebody knows it better, I'm going to have business. It's okay with me. I'm happy. Yeah. All right. So, Malcolm, this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. You didn't know anything about that? Huh? You didn't know anything about no. that technology? No. One of the top men in the whole auto world. Now, in three minutes, acknowledge. Right. Well, I didn't know right. Red, called him a couple hood, people. Like water, no. you know, and as soon as he mentioned hydro on demand, he heard the bullshit, the scam run. Uh, so the same time, yeah, right. and he would, if it wasn't me, he'd been gone. Yeah. All right? Yeah. If I hadn't didn't do yeah, all that, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. if I had only talked to him on the phone, he would not have come of to course. California. Of course. All right. So I'm sitting here and going, wow, this is, but now look at I got him. So I said, what do you want to do next? He says, how many cars you got? I said, I got about half a dozen. I said, okay, take a couple cars. Find yourself an EPA lab, I'll get it for you, whatever you want, and go put this on EPA test and let them see the miles and let them see the emissions. Right. And when they see it on their test, I'll bring it to the there task force and it's over. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Huh? I mean, how cool could that I be? I know. Done. So, I paid the 5000 to go get it tested and we have two cars and I think we got 70% better miles and I think we got 60% okay. lower emissions. I am in. I'm in. It's over. It's the world is now going to change. Boom. Send it into the EPA because I want their final right. stamp exactly. on that. And I get back a letter that says, Mr. Bricklin, thank you so much for your effort. We would like to notify you that if you build any other cars, we're going to fine you $25,000 a car. Do not, do car. not put this on a car and modify the oxygen sensor. <laughs> so I called him up using some extremely harsh words and who the hell do you think you are i am going to castrate you yeah. <laughs> i am going to embarrass you like you've never been embarrassed right. you. how dare you right. you think i'm walking right. 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 the industry's dying and you're going to right. blah, 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 blah. whoa the guy says I, we knew you were going to take that attitude but believe me i really want to tell you this is for the following reason okay. you give us an answer and we'll with, withdraw the letter Okay. Now, when somebody tells me that, I know there's no problem. I can't possibly not have an answer for what they're talking about. Hopefully. So what's your problem? 
Nothing. We love the miles. We love that it's clean. We acknowledge that would be okay. the result of everything you just said. But you got it by changing the oxygen sensor, and that's <laughs> against the law. And wait, he said, and I know you think that's arbitrary, but here's what our problem was. You're riding down the street, and you run out of water. No big deal. I'll bet you lots of people are going to run out of water, a lot, because you got to fill it up with okay. a gallon of water. But you got to do it. All right. I said, yes, so. So what happens? I said, see, the car just runs on normal gasoline. Right. And the oxygen sensor is now in the work, not working. So you're doing exactly what we don't want. Oh. You're now messing up the environment. And that's why we charge the fine. Uh, now, you give me a way. He said, now we thought about, oh, we'll just have a cutoff switch. Right. You can't ride anymore. Right. He said, how about the liability? You're riding down the highway and all of a sudden your car stops. Not cool. So you tell us something else. It works. And I, we're in. I said, wow, you know what? I apologize for what I just uh, did. Whoa, I never thought of that. Even though I'm going to make a bad, right. bad, you're right. I am technically and I am doing damage. And until I can figure it out, I'm off your case. And thank you for being patient. Okay. And that was the end of the story. I closed it up and said the hell with it. Now I'm coming back again. What's wrong with me? Now I say, yeah, what's wrong with you, if I run it 100%, I don't have an EPA. Right. It's only when I have a piece. And I can throw away all the crap that has anything to do with my catalytic converter, everything else. I'm running it with clean thing that's bringing clean and my byproduct, you drink, is my byproduct. That's that. because it would be 100% uh, on demand. 100% on demand. Hydrogen on demand and not any. And no mixture any gas of any kind. Any it's a gas engine, but it's now going to be a hydrogen right, on demand right, engine. Right. So you get rid of the converter. In other words, in this technology allows you to buy the okay. same exact thing for less. All right. To start with. But still, you need to change the laws, right? I know. Well, no? No. Because, um, oh no, you're not polluting at all, so you don't need we to. Are, we don't come under EPA. All right. So the car is cool enough to get a dealer network, really and the program cool. is doing But now my magic theater, which I'm calling for right now, uh -huh. that is going to be a beautiful design 10 by 20 box. Okay. That you can just plunk on top of it into a used car lot. The idea being, what is going to go on in that magic theater is a technology that is extremely captivating. Yes. It's a hologram it's technology like a that I am telling box. you really excites you because you can walk around it. You can sort of almost interact, but it's nothing more than a reflection. So there's no cost really involved. Uh, and because of that, I can push a button and change the program in 400 dealerships so I can keep it exciting all the time. And then I got my veterans who've been trained to be polite, to be informative, to be helpful, uh, to be right. everything pleasant yeah. to push the button. Mm. And I will get people that will come to the dealership okay. that have no intention of buying cars. So in other words, they order the car via that no, 3D they, theater? No, they come, no. no, they come to the dealership yeah. and we get them going through the new car dealership like Disneyland and going through okay. the used car to get to my place where there is this beautiful pod surrounded by beautiful cars right, right. in beautiful colors. Right. So you feel like you're in Disneyland. Okay. You now walk inside and meet very attractive not necessarily exterior appearance, no. but very attractive people. Right. And those people are trained to make you feel good. Yes. And we push a button and you see a presentation and that's why you came. That's it. Now, for the experience. As the debt you pay for doing that is you get a ride, which is even more fun. <laughs> and then you either do or don't buy. And it's then turned over to God, the yeah. people who work in the dealership to close it because right. there's no negotiation on price. Right. Everybody gets the same price. Oh, what good. they don't get is whatever the trade-in is, right. which my people don't do. Their original staff does because we have no way of knowing what trade-ins are worth. Oh, okay. And we will make it very pleasant, very enjoyable, whether or not you wanted to buy a car or not. Now, let's see what we got. Now, I have 400 dealers who are paying, those people are paying attention to my car because people are coming to be entertained and I have a captive audience. Right. And we are going to encourage the fact that you can buy something else instead of ours because we make ourselves then valuable to the dealer right. and he'll make sure he sells the quota that I will give right. him. And my quota is simple. I want you to sell one electric car every other day. That's your original quota. Okay. If you do that, you keep the dealership. You don't do that, oh, I'm going to yank it from gotcha. you. And we're going to have it so you can take these magic so Malcolm, well, one car, one electric car every other day. That's the deal? That's what the dealers have to sell in order to keep the dealership. Now okay. that'll change as we get more, yep. but the goal is to take this box and these really good dealers and these really, really personal salespeople and build a place where people have respect 
for the electric vehicle. And then anybody who has a good idea electrically out there right. can use our platform, okay. our interior, and design whatever they want. Oh. And if we like it, we'll build it for so them like and put it in our dealer network. Like so some, it's some open source. Open source. Open source electric Bring vehicle. Bring in the creativity of uh, and the, the whole world. Our, Let's have fun together. Perfect. perfect. Let's enjoy it. Crowd funded in yes, effect people right. for everything. Beautiful. Then That's exciting. I take my technology that we're showing on television with the yacht where nobody's threatened, and the people who give me the yacht are the people who can take your yacht and change it to Again, this technology. the yacht is, with, uh, is going to be fueled by so on demand. The HHO from saltwater using oh. aluminum. When you put aluminum in saltwater, aluminum? HHO comes out. Okay. And then the aluminum turns into aluminum oxide, okay. and you make it back to aluminum again. Right. But it, it, you need to, f to no feed electricity. With the electricity. No electricity. No. You hear oh, what just I just said? The, oh, you just salt water, aluminum, a, a tin can, oh, aluminum tin can. Gotcha. Boom! I got HHO. Oh my God, that's scary, isn't it? That's the nice. Uh, and brilliant. then I can put it in my car and send and it to my dealers, yes. and then it's over. Okay. Killing me won't do it. Friends, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, listening to uh, Malcolm. Uh, definitely did. And it's, it's, it, it's the energy that I like also. It's the, the fact that, you know, we're just touching the surface. We're just scratching the surface in terms of the possibilities. And we're, we're at the beginning of a, an amazing era. So I'm, I'm very well excited said. to bring you uh, Malcolm with us. Alex, thanks so much, Malcolm. Talk to you later. Take care. Great.